Since 2008, Disney, together with Marvel Studios maestro Kevin Feige, have marshaled the Marvel Universe on the big screen to immense success. It's ludicrously big, and now, with the release of Marvel's Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4, it looks as though the company are looking to recapture the same lightning used to power their cinematic universe, but for a gaming one instead. Speaking to Kind of Funny last September, Insomniac creative director Brian Interhar basically confirmed that Spider-Man, summarized lovingly by these two chaps here, will act as the Iron Man to a brand new franchise of interconnected stories, characters, and titles. Avengers Tower dominates New York skyline in-game, and with countless other references to the likes of Daredevil, Doctor Strange, and various other NY-based heroes, fans had always speculated that Spider-Man could herald a brand new era for Marvel in the industry. But the question still remains. What happens next? With countless heroes, villains, and stories to adapt, how do Marvel games turn Spider-Man from just another seminal title into something far greater altogether? It's all very exciting. So here we go, I'm Yoon from What Culture, and here's what needs to happen next with Marvel's gaming universe. Number 4. Spider-Man is the Iron Man of the MGU Although Interhar stopped short of mapping out this Marvel gaming universe, MGU for short, let's coin it now, shall we? His reference to 2008's Iron Man is important. Throughout the spoiler cast, the creative director made note of the pressure placed on Insomniac to deliver this experience. And though he had nothing but praise for the folks over at Marvel and Sony, the intent with Spidey is clear for all to see. This needed to be their Iron Man, and though it isn't quite the underdog story that birthed 2008's second greatest comic book movie, there's no overstating Insomniac's achievements. Everything about Spider-Man, from the look to the feel to the story itself, makes it a triumph of the superhero genre, and a game likely to spawn sequels, prequels, and spin-offs aplenty. Number 3 what games need to come next. With Spidey acting as the catalyst for this new universe, the next question must surely be which hero gets their own game next. Likely candidates include Captain Marvel, Iron Man, and Hulk, but Insomniac would do well to utilize the space they've already created with Spider-Man 2. A more linear Daredevil game set in the Borough of Hell's Kitchen would work perfectly, with the player lawyering by day and vigilante-ing by night. And with a grand spanking five easter eggs having already referenced the character, we can at least expect him to cameo in the sequel. But this shouldn't be Insomniac's responsibility to bear the burden entirely. If you cast your mind back to just before Spider-Man got announced, the rumour at the time was that Sucker Punch were the ones developing it. This obviously turned out to be false, but would it not make sense to see the former infamous devs be handed the chance to tackle the man without fear, or perhaps even Doctor Strange for that matter? In the wake of the game tour de force that was Sony Santa Monica's God of War, it makes perfect sense for them to handle Thor, and to take the MG away from the comfort zone of NYC, and all the way to the realms of Asgard and other alien worlds with Jack Kirby's signature style interwoven throughout. Apart from that, the likes of Platinum Games would boss Blade, and it wouldn't be at all difficult to see further forays into the world of espionage of Black Widow or Captain America at the helm. Number 2. How the sequel can make everything bigger Spider-Man 2 may not have even been announced yet, but those teasers at the end of the game all point to one saga in particular coming to the MGU the alien costume one. Together with Miles Morales as another Spider-Man, Norman Osborn inching forward to his goblin identity and Harry with a symbiote of his own, it's clear that this next game is going to push the story in an even bolder direction. While said direction should obviously focus on Spider-Man's world first and foremost, going one step further and turning those references and easter eggs into tangible cameos would be the next logical step. Maybe Peter Parker gets into trouble and Matt Murdock makes good on his promise and defends him in court. Oh my god, I want to see this happen. Either way, it's clear that the ante will be up to once more, and while any story broaching the symbiote has to be about Spidey start to finish, integrating the character further into the fabric of this new mythos would go far in establishing it as the perfect counterweight to Marvel's cinematic properties, especially with the emphasis on a distinctly different kind of mythos carrying it forward. Number 1. How this relates to Square Enix but this all raises another interesting question. 
What does this have to do with Square Enix? Last year, it was revealed that, beginning with Crystal Dynamics, Square had entered a partnership with Marvel to create a series of licensed games based on the Marvel Universe. With Spidey already having been announced at this point, fans were quick to ask whether or not the two projects were interlinked in any way, to which Insomniac at the time replied with an emphatic no. Given the exclusivity of Spider-Man, as well as the fact that Crystal's game will be multi-platform, the answer did and still does make a great deal of sense. I mean, why would Microsoft want to hand Sony free promotion, even if one slice of the pie is better than none at all? Now, however, things may have changed. Despite Crystal Dynamics listing for the Avengers project, saying that it will, quote, introduce a universe gamers can play in for years to come, it's looking increasingly likely that the project is connected to Marvel's Spider-Man. In the aforementioned kind of funny spoiler cast with Brian Interhar, a fan brings up the possibility of the Avengers reference being connected to Square's project, in light of the dialogue shown after to play Snap Avengers Tower, to which Intahar replies, I don't know, Peter's a smart guy. While this falls just below official confirmation that the two projects are indeed connected, it would have been just as easy for Intahar to say that they aren't then and there. Factor in the rumoured Guardians of the Galaxy game coming from Square Enix as well, and the scope of this new venture becomes immediately apparent. Bring on the MGU.